Hello beautiful, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Helene. Here we talk about spirituality, manifestation and so much more, all from my personal experience. And today I wanted to share with you a story how I manifested the perfect career for myself. The cool thing is I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life and I didn't know how to manifest consciously. So let's hop into. It all started uh, years ago, around six years ago, if I moved from my hometown to our capital city. I uh, came here to study a new career. I wanted to become a cosmetologist. At least I thought I would like to become a cosmetologist. And during that uh, studying period, I read, I started reading a lot of books. And there were a lot of books about self-development, uh, spirituality, money, law of attraction, health, and uh, those interesting topics. And of course, those books, they blow my mind. And I finally, realized that hey it is uh, it is uh, possible even for me to get my dream life so i always had in my mind that i want to travel the world i want to be free but i didn't know how to get there and what would be the perfect career to get there and if i uh, already worked in a beauty salon after two years I was unhappy, I wasn't satisfied, and uh, but I was con consciously reading books and I was thinking about how to change my life, what to do. And one day my eye caught on a really thick book. It was, uh, I guess, like 500 pages or something like that, a book of Tony Robbins. And I actually read around 100 pages from that book but it was super deep and first time of my life I took that time, serious time, like many days uh, a row to sit down, to read a book and to answer those deep questions. I had a pen, I had a paper and I took that time and the questions were something uh, uh, like who you would like to be in five years, who would you like to become, where would you like to live, what is your perfect home, visualize it, dream about it, uh, what is your personality, how do you look like, uh, who is your partner, how your partner acts, uh, who are your friends, where do you travel, what is uh, your purpose, how do you give back to the world. I was like, whoa, these questions are like super, huge but uh, they were super exciting to me and uh, if I answered to these questions and after a few days later I read all my notes and there were no questions about specific career hey what is what do you want to do mm, nothing like that but if I read my notes I saw that I wrote down that my perfect career my perfect life is that I don't have any workers, I don't have a boss, I don't uh, have limitations where I can work, I take my laptop, I take my phone, I need internet, I can go to my granny's house, I can go uh, and travel to Hawaii and do my job, I don't have any boundaries or limitations to my income, it's worldwide, I can meet new people all the time, I can travel, I can be free, I can do it with my sister, with my partner, with my mother, with my best friends, I can choose whoever I, I can work with. And of course, if I read it, I <laughs> thought that, come on, it's impossible. So I put the book away, I put my notes away and continued with my normal life. And uh, one day I had an idea. Hey, Helene, it's not a job. It's actually, you have to become an entrepreneur. I was like, okay, interesting. I have, I could become an entrepreneur. 
and to become an entrepreneur and to start making good investments to get this financial freedom and to have this amazing life i have to have money but i didn't have money i didn't have much money so i made a plan for myself i made a decision that i will move to australia a lot of estonians do it they move to australia they work for a short period of time they do hard work, they collect uh, some decent money, they start investing, come back to Estonia, buy houses, uh, start businesses, whatever. And I had the similar idea. So this could be my, my way to start living my dream life or building it. And I started talking about it uh, to my sister, to my friends, and I made a clear decision that I will move to Australia. And I felt how this extra energy came into my life. I had the sparkle in my eye. I finally had a plan how to get out of this, uh, let's say, rat race or boring life. And I was super excited about it. But uh, as I continued living my normal life and uh, collecting money to move away, my sister, she was living with me uh, on that time and she came home one day and she said that hey Helene, you know one old friend, old uh, guy from school reached out to me and uh, he wants to meet uh, up and catch up. He has, he had changed his life, <coughs> sorry, he had changed his life enormously and he has some really cool ideas. He wants to make a business meeting uh, and he invited me to one really cool event. I was like, what? You are going to a business meeting? Business event? I don't believe you. But I said to her that maybe you can take, uh, maybe I can come with you. Because I was open-minded. I wanted to meet new people, ambitious people. And the next Saturday I went with her. And this day was the turning point of my life because after this long uh, business day, I cancelled all my plans to move to Australia because I saw a better plan. But the thing is, I wouldn't saw a better plan if I wouldn't written down what I actually want. So I met a bunch of new people, ambitious people who had a great idea, who, who already made some good results. And I see that I could make those results too. So from that day on, me, my sister, uh, we have developed a new career. And now I have my own schedule. I can do whatever I want. Of course, traveling is a little bit complicated now, but if if borders are open again, then I can continue traveling uh, again. But uh, I didn't realize that I manifested this career, this new way, this new opportunity to my life. It took me around six months when I finally realized it. This is interesting. And now, many years later, if I have worked on myself, if I have learned uh, so much about uh, manifestation, law of attraction and these topics, I understand why it came into my life. Because I finally decided what I want to do. I, I, knew, what I, I, I knew what I didn't want to do, but I wrote down where I want to be, how I would like to feel, how I would like to look like. And I visualized myself already in that perfect life and I had the good feeling. And as you already know, everything is energy. We are energy. Between me and you, there is energy. And I vibrated out this uh, energy, this perfect life energy. So... It took some time, it took some few months before it came into my life, but it finally came. And it took some time to finally understand that it was because of me, because I finally decided what I want to do. And because I finally decided that I can do it uh, 
being in, uh, being in an entrepreneur, not a regular worker. So this was my like limiting belief that it has to be some work working from somebody else. So this was my cool story, how I manifested um, my perfect career. Of course, uh, what I can suggest to you is take the time, uh, visualize, think about where you want to be, who you would like to become and feel the energy. You don't know how to have all the answers or know exactly what is the path or career. Just feel it and detach it. Of course, I detached from this outcome because I made in my head a perfect plan for myself how to get there. But that's why I... I I could attach, maybe you can uh, make your plan also, but I suggest you to stay open. Don't be attached to one path because every path can lead you to your perfect outcome. And usually we have a really narrow mind or really narrow view to our life and uh, possibilities because universe is unlimited. So. Thank you for taking the time to listening to my story. See you in the next video.